Hey guys, this is Aegis, and this is Game 3, UNC Char Charlotte versus Greensboro. And if Greensboro wants to come back in this series, they're going to have to pull a reverse all-kill, meaning winning this game and the next two. And Charlotte can easily win this, uh, or try to win this one, and it close it out the series in the next game this one or the fifth game so it's a really hard uphill battle for Greensboro right now and here we do have Tamis playing as the yellow per Erdos player for Charlotte and his ally is going to be the Zerg player Sinoim uh, playing as the pink Zerg player and over here we do have uh, a Perion Light stealing his ally's gas I have no idea what's going on. Why are the SCVs hanging out over there? And we have uh a wide a wide a wide a wide uh playing as the uh That is so strange. Am I seeing what you s do you see what I see? I did not you could know that you could do that. Oh my goodness, that is so special. Um, this is going to allow a wide to do something with that really fast gas um, and also costing their team less minerals in general. This is so cool. I didn't know you could do that. Oh my gosh. Um, Perion Light. Um, wow, I, my mind is blown. Uh, Perion Light now grabbing his uh, spawning pool here. And uh, over here, a wide will be able to get up his orbital command shortly. Wow, uh, I'm 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 gonna be talking about this game for the for the I'm gonna be talking about this thing for the rest of this game. Uh, this is so strange. I did not know you could do that. Did anyone else know that you could do that? I guess I don't play enough two v two, and it looks like the cyber core is coming up for Sinuim. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that'd be that'd be even stranger. Um, Tamis and the spawning pool and the extractor coming up for Sinuim. And over here, Aperion Light grabbing the gas of his own. The SCVs pulled off gas right now. Factory coming up as well as the reactor for those Hellions. The probe here is scouting everything out. This is so cool. I want to see this more. Um, this is this is 2v2 players figuring out exactly what they need to do to win this game. We'll see if they're able to do it for their team. Because 2v2, it's one game there. And uh, if you have two, two really strong 1v1 players... And also a really strong 2v2 team, you can win in CSL. You don't have to have a full set of four really strong 2v2 players. The probe is going to be obnoxious trying to block that factory from landing. Uh, looks like the SCV will try to drill away that probe. Finally getting a land down will be able to begin Hellion production. A couple of Zerglings will be scooting in here. Tamis actually not walling off the front, so those Zerglings will be able to run crazy inside of his base. He's actually saved up plenty of Chrono Boost. The probe's getting pulled off the line. Um, they need to get back to work. The let the Zealot take care of it and pull off the line. When the Zealot is inside the mineral line, we have Tamis researching the warp gate tech here. We've got a Roach Warren on the way for his ally Sinuim. Two zealots out in the field right now. Looks like more zerglings are pouring in here. And in uh base has been started by uh, Sinuim, which is uh which is a huge mistake by the way. Um this map has so many entrances. I've talked about this before and this it doesn't make sense to expand on this map. If you expand on this map, you're going to lose. Um, we have the Stalkers popping out. Tamis uh, finishing up the Warp Gate tech, but he doesn't have any buildings. So Tamis is in such a horrible position right now. He's at 400 in the bank, throwing down another gateway. More Hellions coming in here, cleaning up a ton of those probes. And a wide is going to be able to uh, continue to do a ton of damage here. Looks like the uh, Roaches are popping out just in time for Sinuim to help him take this game. But our Protoss player is essentially dead. Um, but this base over here is going to be a giant paperweight for Sinuim. It's going to quickly get eaten up by all of those Zerglings. The Hellions over here are going to continue to secure this area. And uh, Roach is now continuing to pop out more Zerglings for our uh, blue, per uh, blue Zerg player. And no Orbital Command. I really don't like this. This actually prevents him from making both Hellions and Marines and supply depots at the same time. 
and uh, it'd be a shame to see our uh, blue and uh, green players lose from this just because they don't have uh, the right production. And uh, the Roaches are cleaning up a couple of units here, and the Zerglings and Hellions are actually the worst units you can use against Roaches, so those Roaches are being super effective. Um, but there are plenty of Zerglings, and the Hellions continue to do spread damage there, able to clean up all of uh, those Roaches. And it uh, looks like a Team UNC Charlotte is in a bad position. Looks like a couple of units going to be moving in here. And the Hellions all inside the base. More Roaches popping out just in time to hold this off. Great job by Sinuim. Going to continue to hold the line for his team. And uh, gosh, if there was an Orbital Command here, a Wind would be so far ahead. But he's not. He does just doesn't have it. Um, he's just focused on the Micro here, which is a mistake. Um, and we've got all of the Zerglings and uh, Hellions running crazy back into the Protoss base. And once again, killing the Protoss player off. And uh, the Roach is going to be uh, cleaning up a couple of Zerglings here as well. And the uh, Hellion's going to continue to roast away those uh, those Roaches. But uh, he of course Hellions do like zero damage to Roaches. So this is the absolute wrong unit to be u using in this case. The Hellions are going to be forced out of here by these Roaches. Um, Sinuim is actually the hero of his team. Uh, being able to hold off all of this pressure from the opposing team right now. Finally, a Stalker out in the field will help defend against those Hellions. And uh, not too much damage has actually been dealt to our Zerg player here. A couple of Zerglings running in here trying to do some damage. And uh, finally, our uh, UNC uh, Charlotte team... Uh, is uh, looking a little bit more stable with plenty of roaches and a stalker out in the field. And uh, Protoss production tab is nothing. He's got two probes mining. He's less he, he's less than how he was be at the beginning of this game, minus a few production facilities. The roaches are pushing in here right now. A bunch of zerglings getting taken out. It's just Hellions versus roaches. There are no marines. There's nothing going for our Terran player. I can't believe I'm saying that if, after he actually pulled off this crazy mining the gas thing here. And it looks like the uh, roaches will be able to push in here. All the SCVs getting pulled off the line. This is going to equalize this game very quickly, especially losing all those SCVs without having an orbital command and the drones getting pulled off the line as well the hellions are not good enough against these uh roaches so all the drones getting taken out in addition to that and uh, uh let's take a look at the income tab looks like our protoss player up at four probes our zerg player uh on the unc charlotte side has 17 harvesters zero harvesters uh, for our green terran player and 14 harvesters for Apirian Light. So Charlotte has actually taken the lead in this game. I can't believe this. They have uh, more workers than their opponents. Despite how screwed Tamis feels. He's going to be able to make probes faster than his uh, Terran op uh, opponent. Which is putting him in a great position. There's not too many uh, damaging units out here. There's a, a Stalker going to be able to clean up a uh, Overlord over here. And the uh, uh, Roaches here are just too good against the composition of the uh, Greensboro team. So they're definitely going to hold the line here. I'd like to see the Stalker uh, turn around and go kill this off. Um, uh, Sinuim is actually controlling the units here for his team. Looks like you're going to be able to clean up that Overlord. And uh, actually, uh, well, he won't undersupply his opponent just because of the low supply that he already has. Finally getting some mules and some uh, SCVs out onto the field. And uh, looks like our Protoss player is actually back in this game now. Kronobu's going down on the probes. On the probes. Looks like it's going to be fairly uneventful, so I'm going to be speeding up uh, once again. And I've, as I've been saying this, please let me know if you don't like this. I'm casting all of these uh, re week one games on the, the same day. Um, so I want to get through as many games as possible. Um, so I'm just trying to uh, do my best to get through these games. And uh, hopefully it's not too distracting to have uh, this speed up here. Hellions continue to pour out for a wide... Uh, finally, a switch over. Looks like he will... Nope. A little bit indecisive about his building placement there. 
the uh, hatchery is coming up for Apirion Light. Uh, not sure what he's thinking, trying to expand in a 2v2. Uh, he must be crazy. And uh, Tamis finally mining both gases. He's going to be getting up his robotics facili facility. Both teams hanging out here. Let's take a look at the army tab. And uh, our U Charlotte team is actually ahead in the food count overall. Uh, with the other team making still Hellions. And uh, finally, some Marines coming out for a wide. I feel like a wide is the probably the player that doesn't play the 1v1 very well in this game here. But it's okay since he did this awesome trick here with this extractor. I can't believe this actually happened. Um, Greensboro has won this game regardless of what actually happens in, in the end. Um, just because of that trick. I don't actually care about anything else after this. Finally, a little start here. Tamis and uh, Sinuim going to be expanding shortly. Both teams sitting back. This is so rare to see it uh, this way in a 2v2 where both teams are just sitting back. Um, but this composition is way better than this composition. I don't care if there's three Marauders in here or not. Um, everything in here is just perfect, especially with the Infestors coming out along with the Pathogen Glands. Um, this is such a better army from our UNC team. They're going to be advancing forward, and here comes the push. All the Roaches up at the front, the Stalkers are going to be moving forward. The Force Field's going down, and the Roaches streaming in here. The Fungal Growth's going down as well. And uh, Pyrian Light is alone in holding this off. All of the Roaches are going down. And it looks like Greensboro doesn't have a hope of being able to win this game. And also fail, will fail to win this match. The drone's getting pulled off the line as well. But this is going to be GG soon. And more Infestors coming in here. Going to be able to throw down Infested Terrans if he so desires. And our Terran player, a wide, um, just trying to make some units, I guess. Um, and the Stalkers, uh, Sentries. And the Roach is going to be pouring in here, taking out this, these two expansions. This expansion is trying to retreat back. Going to be trying to wall this area off as well. Uh, drone's getting pulled off the line by Aperion Light. And here comes the Stalker is going to be running towards the front. front. No wall in is going to stop this army from continuing to push in here. Especially as Sinuim is able to macro off of two hatches. And uh, more economy and more roaches popping out for, uh, for a period on light, but it's just not going to be enough. More marauders here, um, and a lift from that command center is a bad choice here. And it looks like the command center will quickly be going down, not e even able to spend the energy on that command center. The simpack going down on the marauders, it's not enough to hold off this a number of roaches and stalkers. The drone's getting pulled off the line. Well, says Aperion Light. Well, they just played better. I'll finish the center sentence for you. Uh, you had a great opening, but that was a, a great hold by Sinuim. He's the hero of the UNC team. And no GG from a wide. And UNC takes this match 3-0. So UNC coming out on top here. Um, their Grandmasters player on their team didn't actually play in this match. So we'll see how they do in the coming weeks. This is Aegis signing off.